eye contact, a firm handshake, dress to impress. We all know the golden rules of a successful interview, but what if you had to impress a computer? Recently, AI has been used to attract applicants and predict a candidate's fit for a position. Meanwhile, Google has also introduced a new AI tool to help you prepare for job interviews. But should bots really decide over your career? Hiring can be biased. Uh, very talented applicants may be dropped out early on, but all of this could also happen if humans make it uh, or make those mistakes. So an AI is at least something we can measure its performance and we can improve. Recruiters are increasingly using AI, which are often trained from data collected from previous or similar applicants. These tools can cut down on the effort recruiters need to expend in order to make a hire. Already back in 2018, 67% of hiring managers and recruiters surveyed by LinkedIn said AI was saving them time. There are a number of things AI can be used for, for example, uh, getting in touch with applicants through ads or LinkedIn, um, assessment of files that applicants have submitted, uh, chatbots that answer questions of applicants, uh, automated video interviews, uh, detection of fraudulent files, as well as uh, prediction of salary and performance of an applicant. Critics argue, though, that such AI systems can introduce bias, lack of accountability and transparency, and aren't guaranteed to be accurate. Well, one issue is bias. Um, the AI may be biased in order to prefer certain genders or certain races. That, that's a big issue. But uh, humans are also biased. So we as humans make those mistakes or biases. That's why the training data for the AI is biased. Systems can learn to be racist, sexist, ageist and biased in many nefarious ways. Reuters reported Amazon had created a recruitment algorithm that unintentionally favoured male applicants. This was due to their system being trained on a decade worth of resumes submitted to the company, which were mostly from male candidates. But as well as helping the recruiters, can AI also help the candidates? Enter Google Interview Warm-Up, which launched in May. The application employs artificial intelligence to assist you in preparing for interviews in a variety of roles and industries. The service asks standard questions. Can you please tell me a bit about yourself? And analyzes your spoken or typed responses for areas where you could improve. You'll notice whether you overuse certain words or if you need to spend more time discussing a particular topic. However, job interviews are longer and more involved than just questions about your background and how you'd solve certain challenges. Google's AI can only help with short-term solutions, such as preparing for interview questions. The rest is often a case of the candidate being well-researched on the day. Though the tool is a great way to calm your nerves if it's been a while since your last interview. And how will AI look in the future? Will it solely decide if we get a job or not? Or will it just do it itself? Well, there will certainly be more AI applications in recruitment. However, if you look at the current uh, AI Act, which is a proposal by the European Commission, which aims to regulate AI, a lot of those use cases could actually become high risk and they could thus disappear because the AI Act has requirements that are unfeasible. So it's possible that there will be less AI in recruitment in the near future because of regulation. AI has primarily benefited firms throughout their hiring process rather than potential new recruits. So what do you think? Is being assessed by a machine more fair than by a human? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one.